Hi, if you want to generate your PDF or if you want to generate your invoice into your PDF file. So in this video, we will learn how to generate your PDF by using PHP dynamically. And here you can see we already created one demo for you. So let's check the demo and how this work. Now here you can see we created some view buttons, download button and upload PDF button. So here you can see whenever I click on view PDF at that time, this PDF will be display inside this browser. And here you can see this is our invoice data, which is display inside this PDF. Now, when I click on this download PDF at that time, this PDF will be download in our local PC or on your local computer. So when I click on this downloaded PDF, so here you can see this PDF will be display like this. So and upload PDF. So whenever I click on this upload PDF, your PDF will be uploaded in your one folder. So also check that PDF is uploaded or not. Here you can see we created one predefined demo for you. And here we created one folder like uploads and inside this upload folder we uploaded our invoice here you can see the time is 502 and here you also you can see 502 that means your pdf will be like or pdf is this so also we open at that pdf and check that pdf So this is how your PDF will display. So in this video, we will cover all the functionality like view PDF, download PDF and upload your PDF. So how is it possible? Let's check or let's see step by step, right? So in this video or in this blog, now in this video, we will cover or we will set up live demo for you to view PDF, to download PDF and upload that PDF. So step by step, we will see how to set up this code for your PDF to generate PDF, right? So we predefined, created one demo for you or write it down one block for you. So you can easily set up this code into your project. Or I also set this link in my video description. So you can go through that link. So here you can see. What is the step one? You need to go to PHP my admin and execute this sample SQL statement and this sample data. So simply copy paste this code into your or simply copy paste this SQL statement into your file or into your PHP my admin. I copy paste this code and I already execute that uh, data in my SQL. So you need to go to SQL and execute this sample data. So I already created that both table invoice MST and invoice detail, right? This data will be used in our PDF. So that's why we use this sample data. Once you created or executed this sample data into your database. Now step two, you need to make one connection file like database dot database underscore connection dot PHP, right? So I already created that file. Simply you need to create one project folder like generate PDF and inside this folder you need to write or you need to create one file like database underscore connection dot PHP, right? Once you connect your database, I already set this file in, in the source code file. So you can download that source code from here. So you will get all the file and everything, right? Now. Now first you need to create connection file, right? Once you connected your file now, now in a step three, you need to create one file like index.php where we will display our all the data, right? So here you can see we display our data one by one. So for that we created one file like index.php. So simply I open that file and explain what is the code so here you can see we created one file and included 
Font Awesome, Bootstrap Min.css, and jQuery Min.js, which is used for designing and for that. And for icons, we use Font Awesome Min.css, Bootstrap Min, which is used for designing. So for that, we included this library, right? Now here you can see we create one table and set up some heading like this. So here you can see this heading is we created. Now we get data from the database. So how to get data from the database? So first we need to write or we need to include our database connection file. Now once you include your database connection file, we write it down one select query to get data from the database. So by using this select query, we get data from the database like we need to display our customer data. So I simply writing this query. Now once you get the data, we need to we need to show on our page. So for that, we make one while loop and one by one data will be display on our web page. So here you can see we display that data like customer name, customer mobile, address. So here you can see customer name, mobile and address. And the most important part is this. So for we need to suppose we need to view our PDF. So for that here you can see we create one file like pdfmaker.php. So I simply open that file pdfmaker.php. Now, now here you can see we pass one ID which is used to get the data from the database and display that data on PDF. So that's why we pass that ID. We require that ID to get the data from the database. So that's why we pass that ID. So here we pass that ID. So MSD ID is equal to this. This is our dynamically get ID. Now here you can see we pass that dynamically ID like this. When I hover on this button at that time, you can see a dynamically ID will be stored inside this MST underscore ID, right? So this is how we pass our ID dynamically. And also we pass one action like first is for a view PDF, second is for download PDF and third is upload PDF. So whenever I click on this button at that time action will be pass is equal to view. Now when I click on this button, when I click on this button at that time our PDF maker.php file will call. So this file will be called. So first we require our database connection file. So we included that of connection file. Now second one, we need to include tcpdf library. What is tcpdf? So you for generating your PDF or dynamically generate your PDF for that we require tcpdf library. So you, you, you suppose you need to know more about the tcpdf so you can go through this and you can get all the documents and everything from tcpdf.org right if you want to learn then you can go through this document and you will get idea how this tcpdf will work right now this library i already share in my source code so you can download from there now this is how you need to include this library now once you include that library here you can see we access our dynamically ID by using dollar underscore cat. Why we are using this dollar underscore cat? Because we pass that value in this URL. By using this URL, we get data by using dollar underscore cat. Now here you can see we get a value with get method. Why we are using a get method? Because we are passing our ID with URL. That's why we are using a get method and get a value with dollar underscore get. Once you store the, that ID, here you can see we write it out one select query to get the data from the database based on this ID, right? So by using this ID, 
we get uh, that customer data only so whenever we click on any button at that time we pass one id and that id will be used inside the, this query now once you get uh, result from the query we store inside this now here you can see we store are all the result inside this variable invoice mst results right now this result value will be used in this now here you can see we store our query result inside this variable and that variable value will pass inside this invoice mst data row now that dynamically value will be accessing through like this invoice mst data row then your attribute name it means your column name so this is how we dynamically set our customer name mobile number and bill number so this master data coming from this master table right so this is your master data and that data will be accessing through this invoice mst data row now now here you can see we need to use this tcpdf predefined some format some header some header font and everything so simply you need to copy paste this code and you must have to remember if you want to some another page size then you can change as per your requirement right now here we writing some style for invoice designing so simply you need to copy paste this code and here we writing some our branding details like signer web technology contact number website and all that right this is dynamically data and now the most important line level data now here you can see this line level data will be get from the database this data also coming from the database but this data will be line level so how this is possible for that we simply writing one query like select from our second table like invoice detail and here we also pass that id and get result inside this variable and we make one while loop by using this while loop we one by one data store inside this while loop and set that data in this trtd trtd right now here we calculate some total that the total will be display like this so as per your requirement you writing your logic or you can change this logic as per your requirement right so once your dynamically value will be set up that dynamically value store inside this contain variable right and that contain variable will concatenate with dot is equal to then and then your all the dynamically value store inside this content variable now that content variable we need to pass inside this write html this is a predefined tcpdf function we must have to pass this content variable inside this function then and then your pdf will be generate or then and then your pdf will be download right now this is our file name we created one file name like this so inv underscore date and time so for that we created take one date and time variable and pass this date and time variable inside this so this is how we created a file name now the most important here we handle when i click on view button it means when i click on this view when i click on this view we pass action is equal to view but when i click on this download button at that time action is equal to download and when i click on this upload at that time action is equal to upload so here you can see we pass the action view download and upload based on you based on your requirement you can also pass this action right so here we check that action is equal to view then this pdf output method will be used 
this is a predefined predefined method you must have to pass this file name and this attribute like i i it means inline view and here you can see we also use this output method same which is used here and but here you can see we pass one attribute like d d it means what it means download your pdf and the last one is upload it means when you need to upload your file in your database or sorry in your folder or on your server at that time you must have to pass f f it means what means file you must have to upload your file on this so at that time here you can see you must have to pass your file location not a file name only here you need to pass your file location so that's why we created file part or folder part here or if you are using a simple uh, local xam server so you must have to pass below this part this is a local xam server part this is a live server part that's why i taking this location if you are using a local pc so you must have to pass this part now that part and your file name and add attribute f it means file so this is how this code will be work right so here you can see when i click on view at that time our pdf will be display right now suppose if i click on this third view at that time this ditya patel invoice will be display suppose i click on this second one view at that time here you can see rosni patel invoice will be generated so this is how dynamically generate your pdf by using this php code with tcpdf library and here you can see you can also download this pdf so simply by using this tcpdf library you can create or generate or upload your pdf so i hope so whenever you set up this code in your project or if you have any difficulty while set up in this code please write it down your comments in your comment section and if you have any difficulty please tell me i will try to resolve your problem and i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and i also share this all the source code here so you can download your source code from here i already copy paste this source code in my drive so you can download from here and so simply you can copy paste this whole folder from this drive so you can copy paste this code i hope you will like our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel because once you subscribe our channel you will get so many video so many blogs and everything so thanks for watching and keep subscribe our channel and bye bye